Welcome back to the biggest agricultural platform in Namibia known as Nduna Wengombe, which means headman of cattle. My name, of course, is Mitchell Mutumba Smata, aka the headman of cattle. So today, I felt I should speak about another crossbreed, composite breed, a breed that was developed out of the Brahman. As I'm talking about Brahman crossbreeds, we spoke prior to this, we spoke about the Braford, we spoke about the Beefmaster. Now we're speaking about another uh, crossbreed that was developed through crossbreeding a Brahman and a European and a European breed of cattle to develop it. And the breed that I am talking about, of course, is the Santa Gertrudis. There is a Santa bull up there, dark red color. They come in dark red. They're just red animals. They don't come in any other color. This is the color you get them. You get them in this dark red, or you get them in this light type of uh, shade of brown. And these are Santa calves down there. So. As you guys know, I'm never writing solo. I got my trusted notebook here. Let's get into the let's get into the Santa Gertrudis's video. So the Santa Gertrudis, Santa Gertrudis breed of cattle named for named from the Spanish land granted where Captain Richard King first established the King's Ranch, were developed to thrive, prosper, and gain weight on native on native grasses of South Texas, of the South Texas bush country. The breeding began in 1910, where the King Ranch decided to systematically crossbreed its Shorthorn and Hereford cattle with Brahman. After a few crosses, the Brahman X Shorthorn cross showed the most promise, and the ranch, the ranch, uh, the ranch had showed the most promise, and the ranch had a cross of about three eighth Brahman and five eighth Shorthorn. As the optimum blend of the two breeds. So the Santa Gertrudis is 3 8 Brahman and 5 8 Shorthorn. In 1920, an outstanding bull calf called Monkey was produced, was produced with a distinctive red color and an exceptional deep, an exceptional deep and well-muscled body. He was used in breeding the herd of first cross Brahman X Shorthorn red heifers. His offsprings were superior cattle that were well adapted to the harsh environments in which they, in which they were developed. In 1940, the Santa Gertrudis was recognized by the United States Department of Agriculture as a pure breed. So it got officially recognized in 1940. Continue saying uh, oh, production in South Africa, the production in South Africa. Production in South Africa around 1996. Um, Rowley Taylor, in the Rowley Taylor of the Natal, seemed to have been the first farmer to import the Santa Gertrudis into South Africa, with with the with cattle coming from Texas. Professor Jan Bosma, therefore, thereafter acquired some of the cattle for the Mara Experimental Station in the old Northern Transvaal. This herd later moved to the experimental farm in the Northern Cape, and later to the Omashini. Is it Omanjeni? I think Omanjeni, so not Omashini, Omanjeni in Namibia, where the cattle performed exceptionally well under supervision of Mr. R. or R. Bostalap. R. Bost, R. Bostalap. The Santa Gertrudis Cattle Breeder Society of South Africa was established in 1973 to promote and improve the breed in South Africa. So the it was recognized in 1940. Was it, it 1940? Yeah, 1940 by the American uh, Department of Agriculture. And the society in South Africa was set up in, 19, in 1973. That's when it was set up. But the first uh, Santa Gertrudis arrived in the South African shores in 1960. So proceeding with the, with the Santa Gertrudis, let's get into the characteristics of the breed. The characteristics. The Santa Gertrudis is red in color and displays a blend of boss indigus and boss taurus attributes. They have a short, straight, they have, sh they have a short, straight, uh, slick coat with loose and movable skin, which is red in pigmentation. The conformation of the breed, uh, the conformation is broad, strong, and well-developed muscle that may, they may be pulled and horned. So the weight of the bulls could be 900 kgs. I believe that's the heaviest the bull goes. Cows could weigh from 530 to 750. Uh, winning weight is around is around about 230. Uh, uh, daily weight gains of Santa Gertrudis bull is uh, re regularly monitored at more than 1.5 1.5 kgs per day. So 
Wolves pick up daily gain is about 1.5 kgs per day. You got, yeah, uh, weight. Okay, the uh, winning the winner's daily weight gain is about two kgs in, uh, which is a daily uh, um, daily set standard for them. It's two kgs daily. They continue saying the female, the female, females with adequate condition will breed will breed at an age of 12 to 14 months of age and produce their first calf at two years old. Above average production of milk, above, above average production of milk due to their heavy milk uh, production, she will be able to win a heavier calf. Produ we spoke about this. I can't repeat it again. Um, the production production regions of the Santa Gertrudes in South Africa. This the production regions in South Africa, of course. The Santa Gertrudes breed because of its ability to adapt to wide range of climatic conditions and produce and produce in all up are produced in all parts of South Africa. So it's one of those few breeds, almost like the Brahman or the Bosmara, that is farmed in most parts of South Africa. You can find them in a lot of parts of South Africa. And the feedlots. Feedlot num it's it's called it's called the feedlot number one performer on felt and in feedlots, with slaughtering percentages being of the highest of all breed or highest of all breeds. Averages around 65%. The meat is also high quality and tender. The breed is considered an exceptional good non-selective forager able to cover a lot of ground in search of food and water. Outstanding qualities. Between the age of 13 to 15 years, cows still yield quality calves and are able and are above average producers of exceptional milk with a high level of butter fat content. So if you want to make uh, cattle butter fat, I mean if you want to make butter fat, Santa Gertrude's milk is, is the way to go. They also demonstrate good maternal instinct. One or two cows will watch a group of calves while the others graze to protect their young. The Santa Gertrudes are renowned for their low birth weights and are rapid and rapid weight gain. Therefore, thereafter, and utilizing their mother's milk well, which is an which is often an oft, often overlooked uh, overlooked characteristic, which makes them achieve heavy calves. So that's the Santa Gertrudes. That's information I got from the um, Santa Gertrudes Breeder Society of South Africa, which was set up in 19... 1973. Now, let's see what they have to say about the Santa Gertrudes here in Namibia. Contrast of the livestock catalog of Namibia. They say the characteristic coat of the breed is dark red, as I showed you guys, the dark red bull. The coat is smooth, the eyes are well hooded for extra protection. Santa Gertrude's cattle have a medium frame, are, med are medium framed, with bulls weighing approximately 900 kgs. A matured cow, 532, 532, um, yeah, 530 kgs, are highly adaptable to change environmental, con environmental conditions, making them highly desirable for Southern Africa. They are excellent walkers and great foragers. Cows, with, cows have a long productive lives and can raise cow can raise cows to the age of as i said there 15 to about 17. santa gertrude's cows are very have very few calves have very few calving problems the calves are usually small in size i believe they inherit that from the brahman because with brahman as i pre previously men mentioned that with the beef masters brahmans don't really pre give birth to very big heavy calves they give birth to smaller calves and which rapidly grow over time the cows of this breed are, ex ex are exceptional milk producers and have a wonderful mothering ability. The breed gain the breed gain weigh, weight extensively well. They do well under both felt or feedlot condition. The beef, the beef is well marbled and excellent in quality. Namibian South Africa breeders are four are forerunners in breeding superior Santa Gertrudes cattle that are well adapted to the Africans' extreme condition. So that's the Santa Gertrudes. So cross-breeding ability with the Santa Gertrudes. For cross-breeding purpose, Santa Gertrudes bulls mated with any type of cow are hard to beat. This breed has the ability to add kgs to calves at weaning time. Reports from commercial cattle producers in Australia, the United States, South Africa and other countries verify that over a period of years, Santa Gertrudes bulls can produce more, can produce more meat for less money. Moreover, cross-breeding calves will outweigh the others, giving you greater returns. So if you want to consider using a Santa Gertrudes for cross-breeding, it, it's given a go here. Other word is the butcher 
the, ke the kettle buyer and producers have all recognized the consumer demand in demand is for lean beef. Beef of this type is produced by Santa Gertrudis and Santa Gertrudis crossbreeds. With a new grading system in South Africa where two, where two teeth cattle are now going to be classified as superior grade beef, the pure, the pure bread and crossbred Santa, the pure bread and crossbred Santas will have an advantage at one of the, at one, as one of the breeds that shed their milk teeth late. Mm. So that's Santa Gertrude's breed, uh, Santa, the Santa Gertrude's breed in Namibia. I'm trying to see if I can get uh, the number of uh, members, how many members they have here in Namibia, how many breeders they have. So let me count them. It's about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are about eight registered breeders in Namibia from different uh, regions, of course, of the country. But there are eight registered breeders who farm the Santa Gertrude's here in Namibia. So... It's not gonna be. It's not gonna be the biggest. I mean, it's not gonna have the numbers of the Brahman in the Samantal, but it is a breed that uh, has a not the biggest society, but it does a lot of uh, good things for for various Santa Gertrudes breeders. It's a breed that I was lucky enough not to farm, but I have gone visited some Santa Gertrudes breeders and I have seen the cattle. They're beautiful looking cattle. They're deep red cattle. I believe they produce uniform color calves. As I say again, deep red bull, light. Uh, brown cattle, light, light brown cow, deep colored calves. That's the Santa Gertrudis. And that is my two cents on the Santa Gertrudis. Can you use it for crossbreeding? As the information just said, you can. And in, in any crossbreeding you use it, it will add um, some well-needed cages on the on the on the crossbreed calves. And on top of that, it means more meat for less money. So that said, guys, that's my two cents on the Santa Gertrudis. The American Santa Gertrudes, it's an American breed, American Santa Gertrudes, developed on King's Ranch. Um, that's the history and um, that's the information that I had to share with you guys. With that said, guys, I just want to say bye for now. Have yourself a good night.